Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about this. This is Wei Jiang's Iron Rhino. It is uh, their version of Power of the Primes Predacon um, Headstrong. Now, it's basically a heavily modified uh, knockoff of Predaking and, and the Predacons with a lot of improvements. I've done, uh, so far as of this video, I've done three other videos of their version of Dive Bomb, Rampage, and tantrum and after this guy i'll be doing one more of their version of razor claw but for now we're going to take a look at th this guy and compare him uh with power of the primes headstrong so let's go on to the review table here real quick okay so here we have iron rhino out of the box um, I, I just have him out for now um he came with the foot piece becomes a foot and a cannon um he also came with a set of stickers notice he does not have a decepticon sticker his instruction sheet and he came with this uh piece uh looks like it's a replacement part i'm not sure exactly for what um actually let's just take a look real quick if it's in the instructions I don't see anything referring to that and I guess it is a replacement part of some sort I'm not sure I might have to look online to get more information but I will keep this handy because it looks like uh, it could be useful okay let's put this aside here's the sticker sheet it comes with and let's bring on Hasbro's version of headstrong here he is as you can see he is official with the decepticon logo uh, other than that they look pretty much alike um, it's only when you get down to the detail of things you can really see the differences here let me just zoom in so i can see the what's in frame a little bit better okay here we go so just off the top you can see how this has some painted design on top and this one doesn't this is painted silver this is a piece of plastic again very similar improvements in here this is painted red this is a p this is actually a plastic piece we have some paint apps here as well and just like their version of tantrum hasbro painted here they didn't and over here we know that this is a black piece of plastic molded plastic but it's been painted red while uh, Wei Jang's is actually a red molded piece of plastic with uh, some other extra stuff um, let's get down to just the pretty obvious um, just like tantrum let's see Wei Jang's I believe the mouth can open it looks like it can it has the hinges but I, I can't get my nails in let me see if I can use this little uh, tweezers to yep there you go so look at that and the beast mouth opens but Hasbro's there is it doesn't there's no option so looks like I mean these are basically similar I mean basically the same body type just different design elements of um, uh, tantrum um, so headstrong and tantrum are pretty much the same mold that's just been slightly modified so let's go to the side here you can see again this is painted this is a piece of plastic and of course on the other side because it's a piece of plastic it shows here while Hasbro's it doesn't it's not painted they didn't bother painting other other more obvious um differences which is same uh, which is very much the same with the other figure um tantrum is you know hasbro's hollow they're using a ball joint no ball joint not hollow same with the legs hasbro is hollow Wei jang's isn't and it's actually um, way better design than Hasbro. Let me uh, turn it around here. 
I think the one thing I failed to mention on tantrums was uh, you can tell here Hasbro uses a lot of pins while Wei Jang is using screws, which I personally um, prefer. But other than that, um, I think those are the biggest difference. Again, like here Hasbro, this is a black plastic, but they painted it red here, while Wei Jang has red plastic and to uh, that red molded plastic and the black over here. So all in all, you know, Wei Jang did a better job, in my opinion, and has a lot more improvements. Here they are from the side. You can see the design elements. They're pretty similar, like just slight variations. Like if you look at the bottom of the leg, this is like that's rectangular and this is not. Um, even with the arms, the design, the arms, very different. They're just they're just similar in scale i guess but design wise it's very different like where uh hasbro uh puts their stuff together and wei jangs are different like wei jangs this is like this is one piece this is two piece so you can see this is a there's a these are two pieces that are screwed together this is one piece with uh with a pin so um, you know, a, a common question is, is this a knockoff or not? So, I, you know, I have a hard time saying it is. I don't, personally, I don't think this is um, Wei Jang getting a hold of the exact molds and then tweaking them. The reason why is, the the reason, uh, the reason why I, I think that is because uh, for me getting into this was actually to get parts. My... Um, dive bomb for my power of the primes predicting its arm at the shoulder part uh when he forms predicting's arm was very loose and then i opened it up and found out that there was no ratchet there like the other arm so i was hoping buying wei jang's dive bomb would be a nice quick way to open it up take that part and put it in my hasbro um dive bomb but i found is they're not built exactly the same the uh, the way the insides are actually different so it's got me thinking that they must have reversed engineered this and re and just remodeled it themselves you know maybe they took all the me measurements and re just redid it i uh, you know i that's seems like a lot more plausible i don't know but either way it's i like this a lot it's a lot better so let's get on to transformation on here just to see the biggest difference um, also in uh, the beast mode so they transform exactly the same for the most part touch the head but the biggest difference is the legs so Hasbro's you can see how hollow this is comes up let it do the other side comes up and then this flips around and that flips around and then you can pull the beast legs out and then bring this back in like so and there you have the beast mode nice little bowl let me see if I can straighten this out I think it goes this way maybe nope. yeah let's go this way there you go so here's the beast mode of headstrong and of course you can put this uh cannon on him and just a quick note I, I think i said this on my other video as you can see the cannons are also different this one has a bigger surface area when standing than this just the design as well and hasbro's is hollow while wei jang's isn't Okay, let's transform Wei Jang's version now. Similar transformation. Oddly enough, the joints on this one is tighter, which is odd for a KO. Turn the heads, and here's the biggest difference in transformation: is in the legs because you don't. They they put this panel here so it doesn't look hollow. You basically flip, flip it out, 
and then you can bring this up and then this panel tucks in like this Let's see if I can get that in and then tucks in like this as well and it's such a simple way to get it out of the, to to make the figure so much better and make the feet hollow I mean not hollow and then it transforms exactly like uh, uh, the power of the primes version as far as plastic quality you can tell I'm it's not brittle you can tell that I'm not being exactly gentle with this you know I'm treating it with the same amount of force I would do with uh, my power of the primes version and it's a little tight the joints hey okay, let's bring this down and then this goes here everybody all happy and let's put this here and then you can see the two beast modes slightly different different variations but pretty much the same thing there's the top you can see the little differences here in design I like that this is bigger because it just allows more stability for predicting okay let me get him back into a robot mode and give you my final thoughts okay my final thoughts on Wei Jang's Iron Rhino is gonna be exactly the same as their other figure uh, their version of Tantrum I I love it a lot I like it a lot it has so much more improvements um, it it you know it just is a better figure which is really odd because this is considered well I I don't know if I, I still on the fence I don't consider this a knockoff there's so much changes to this and it doesn't seem like a straight copy that's just been modified if it was a straight copy that's just been modified they would have um left the inside parts the same i think but i don't know um just from a toy standpoint i like it a lot plastic quality is very great um tight joints and it looks awesome now as i said with my other ones the only thing that would make this perfect for me if it was deluxe sized and um, I hope that Wei Jang will do that I, I don't mind getting this again if it was smaller because it would be the the correct scale for me anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below there's just one more um, till I complete their version of Predaking and I'll do another video on that as soon as I can anyway thanks for watching